And it's, it's a little bit uh, amusing. You'll, you'll find defenders of intellectual property, some patent lawyers and even some libertarians, and they get really indignant if you call it a monopoly. It's not a monopoly, it's a property right. If it's a monopoly, then you know, your use of your, of your car, your, your car's a monopoly. Well, uh, one of the first patent statutes was England's uh, Statute of Monopolies, 1624. Uh, you know, they, they didn't really mince words back then. You, we, remember, we used to have a Department of War in America. Now it's the Department of Defense, right? The, the old statists were much better. They were more honest, right? But th this patent statute in England, the Statute of Monopolies, was, it was a way to raise money for the crown without having to p impose a tax. They sold these monopoly grants by charging fees. To as dis distinct to closed letters or private letters. So there are open letters granted by the monarch that gave someone authorization to do something, like to be the only person to sell a certain good in a certain area. Um, and here's something interesting I came across recently. Um, letters patent, one of the early uses of the letters patent in the 1500s was uh, granting authority to pirates, real pirates, not Pirate Bay pirates, to become privateers, which is just legalized piracy. And uh, say, one up. So you gave them a monopoly over the spoils of their piracy for some period of time. This is where patents originated. Um, a famous example was Francis Drake. Some people say Sir Francis Drake, but as he was a slaver, I don't call him Sir. Um, he was given a letter patent on 15 March 1587 that authorized him to engage in piracy. And he attacked Spanish ships sailing back uh, from South America, laden with silver, brought the treasures back home to the queen. And he was famous for this. So if you think about it, what's ironic is that you have defenders of intellectual property attacking pirates today who are not really pirates. I mean, real pirates come aboard your ship, kill people, break things, take things, make you worse off, right? So they basically accuse people that share information of being pirates. When the original, uh, ironically, the, one of the original uses of patents was to authorize real piracy. Okay.